No, no, he's sitting down there. You can't sit close to him. You can start the conversation with him. The babe hasn't told you that, oh, there's something between the both of them. Even if there's something between the both of them, I feel like he's playing you. Play him too. This is a game. Play who plays you. Go. Anybody that will catch the goal, then that's fine. How old are you again? I'm in my 30s. And you're here doing like someone that is in 20. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be even like you right now. <laughs> but it's the truth now. It's true, yeah. I'm supposed to be even like you. It's true. All right, so the weirdest but most hilarious thing happened last night between Uriel and Ilibaye. And guys, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I think weird best describes the situation because it was so hilarious watching Uriel consulting Ilibaye about how she should handle her feelings towards new. Now, guys, <laughs> I mean, I was wondering, like, when did this friendship start? Like, when did these two people get so close? And when did Uriel get so comfortable, you know, with Elibaye to the point that she would begin to have such a conversation with Elibaye? Guys, I was doing a million and one mathematics in my head, trying to calculate how that... It just did not make sense. It just did not make sense. However, the conversation was quite interesting, though. It was interesting. And then... There was also news reaction that just put the icing on the cake, guys. It was just really hilarious. So let's get into this video. It's going to be brief. I'm going to tell you all about it. And yes, I, I, question of a video. Are you as <laughs> surprised as I am? What are your feelings towards this whole drama? Just go ahead. Let me know in the comment section below, all right? And quick announcement, or should I say quick reminder. Today, by 3 p.m. WAT, we're going to be converging here for our YouTube live stream. So please make it a date with us. Do not miss out. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. So I cannot wait to have a robust conversation with every single one of you, all right? And you are all specially welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the team. If you're yet to officially become a part of this community and you always watch my videos, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. And um, please like this video and feel free to share it, all right? Now quickly, let's proceed into the details of this conversation. That conversation happened right after, you know, the housemates were done with their in-house activities. I'm talking about um, wager task presentation, them watching um, their movie on the TV, eating pizza. There was a fight between, okay, not a fight. There was um, an altercation between Mercy and EK. Not that deep, yes, but Mercy really said a lot, but we're not going to get into that, right? It's not that deep. Now, the housemates were quite excited and kind of relieved that, oh, the stress of the week is over. So there was the lingering excitement of Fraud's news, you know, about the birth of his child. So everybody was just in high spirit, you know. Um, EK had gone ahead to bring alcohol that he had kept um, from the pool party, and so they were drinking, drinks were going round, conversations was just happening. And then there was new Mercy from Shei, Cross, um, they were seated um, around the Kubana area. So there was also Kid Wire there. They were just having random conversations, you know, from talking about fraud, being a new dad to other matters. Now, Uriel had been looking at New and she had been longing to have a conversation with New. Guys, remember, Uriel had actually confessed to Big Brother several times that she has a thing for New. He is our love interest and he would love for them to be a couple in the house. But then there's also Tolani Badge in the picture and there was Princess who unfortunately Unfortunately, has not been evicted from the house. But then there was Tolani Badge that is not really giving a straightforward answer to if she and New are in a relationship. And Uriel, according to her, likes Tolani Badge a lot and does not want to trespass in whatever she thinks is going on between those two people. And guys, I've actually done a video before explaining the dynamics in that relationship, you know, about how New was consciously engineering the entanglement, you know, between those three ladies and now that princess is no longer in the picture because he was actually really chasing princess before 
she got evicted last week. So now that Princess is no longer in the picture, he's sort of friend zoned Uriel and now is giving his ultimate attention to Tolani Badge because, according to him, they're trying to build this alliance, right? Not just as friends now, but just this very strong bond so that for every Monday when it's time to give a pardon to a housemate that you would love to give immunity, both of them will mention each other's name, both of them will have each other's back. But Uriel, on the other hand, is talking about feelings emotions and from a look of things Neo is not necessarily interested in feelings and emotions for him it's all about the game you know it's all about the highlights it's all about um opportunities in the house that he can actually capitalize on you know to secure his stay in the house if i do say so myself anyways uriel i decided to have a conversation with ilibaye about um her feelings and ilibaye had put on the big shoes of I don't know should i say older sister or maybe the adorable young sister that is trying to ginger the older sister you know to go after what she wants and guys elibaye's advice it was so funny it was so adorable but it kind of made sense now she was telling uriel that listen you don't know if tolani and you are actually in a relationship they could be friends you know you you might you just might not know if you do not have a conversation with him to understand where he is with tolani now whilst um Ilibai was saying that guys frankly speaking i was having a good laugh because um neo had actually said before that he and tolani they're just friends yeah. both of them would actually refer to each other as their rock their comfort in that house but then guys when you look at the way they both operate you will see that there's more to it than meets the eyes which just to deviate a bit guys which makes me wonder what exactly is going to happen between you and beauty when you get out of the house because guys there's just been too many confirmations out there on the internet that new and beauty are actually in a relationship yes videos have popped up there's even an episode on a show um, where she had traveled from abuja to lagos and new had gone to pick her up at the airport and then both of them had been seen in an hotel there's just too many receipts out there but hey i don't know who am i in the grand scheme of things anyways now Ilebaye was just going ahead to ginger Uriel, sort of like motivating her, encouraging her that, listen, you have to go and talk to this guy because in this house, guys are scarce. Like, if you like a guy one minute and you don't go ahead to let him know of your feelings, the moment you, you slack, another girl will just go and meet the guy and the guy might agree. I mean, guys, Ilebaye was applying so much pressure. And I was looking at this girl like this. I'm like, hey, God maybe just maybe if Ilebaye did not have two strikes this pressure she's applying now on uriel to go after new she probably would have given herself that encouragement to go after new because for how she's like listen don't even look at anything the guy is seated right there right now there's nobody beside him just go and meet him oh she was even prepping uriel's air that oh look let me see you can go and meet him you know you tell ask him how's my hair how do i look you know that kind of thing you have to make advances at him you have to start up a conversation like Ilebaye was sounding like a relationship expert and guys it was quite entertaining to watch and listen to now even though Ilebaye was quite energetic about this whole move right about the eventuality the result of it all Yura was quite hesitant yes she was quite reluctant to do it because according to her that is not really her style yeah it's not really a style you know she kept on saying but i'm not you i mean there's a lot of people there if i go to him oh my god uh, my business is going to be out there a lot of people are going to be looking at me or talking about it and i was like well you don't have to put it out there there's a way you can use sense and she was so pushy guys at some point she's like oh I'm talking to you you want to walk away oh you don't want to do this you have to do it oh my god i'm like if you never is your younger sister trust me you could go marry person where you didn't fear to go even talk to <laughs> it was quite fun to see and i just totally loved you know the the vibe between both of them at that point in time and then Ural has suggested that they should go and sit elibaya had said I mean, it was so fun to see. I totally was enjoying the vibe between both of them. And then Uriel has suggested that they should sit down, you know, because she needs to think about it properly. Ilibaya has suggested that they go and sit around that area where Neil was. And then they had gone there to sit down. And then they were whispering and talking. Neil was talking. The guy was looking fresh and fine as hell. But then you could tell that there was a point where he paused, you know, listening to Shei talk or Kidwaya talk. And then he turned and with the side of his eyes, he was staring at Uriel and Ilibaye whilst they were talking. And guys, there's something scary about Neil. Yeah, not in a negative way now, but 
it was about something that happened with princess in the kitchen that was last week i can't remember the particular day now but um that was a day that Neil had gone to go and hug princess from behind and was trying to apply pressure on princess to like him back you know to be a, a ship with him princess was playing hard to get so the moment Neil had walked out of that kitchen like it looked like he was already leaving to his room princess all the way at the sink had said let the game begin bitches guys Neil backtracked he came back poked his head through that um, opening at the kitchen and i was like did you just say game on <laughs> hey guys that day i was so freaking scared because i'm like ah, how did this guy hear what um, princess said because guys princess did not even shout she literally said it under her breath so the fact that Neil could hear it guys oh my god i was scared i'm like hey what does does this guy have a loudspeaker in his ears that can literally pick sound like what exactly how how was that even possible anyways that event really shocked me and so last night when Ilibai and yuria were whispering to each other and you was you know giving them like a side eye but was paying attention i started panicking for yuria because i'm like oh my god this guy is literally hearing everything people are saying right now because this guy is a witch guys not negatively now but he's he's a freaking witch because how did he hear and i'm like for the fact that he could have heard what princess said that day then there's every possibility that he could hear loud and clear what um Ilebae and yuria were talking about at that point in time but anyways guys nothing really happened no action but i am looking forward to this weekend because here's the thing yuriel gets her courage from alcohol yes she's a very very you know conservative person sort of reserved she's not that type of lady that makes a move on a man right like that so i, I sometimes she, i feel like she needs alcohol to boost her courage so we're looking forward to tonight today is a saturday night party the third saturday night party of the season so i'm just keeping my fingers crossed to see how it goes and also i know that lani badge is going to probably overreact because last weekend at the party she kind of shoved princess aside to dance with new whilst new and princess was da were dancing together and i found that really offensive but let's see if she's going to give the same energy to um yuriel because at the moment tolani badge and yuriel they have a rapport they're not necessarily friends but they are cool so i'm looking forward to seeing if this new or should i say this rebirth of um Uriel's affections towards Nier is going to cause a rift between Tolani Badge and Uriel. In the meantime, what do you think about that conversation last night? Did you enjoy it? Do you think um, Ilebae was too pushy? Do you think um, Uriel was acting too cowardly? Or do you think it's best for Uriel to just look for another strategy to play with instead of just going ahead to play whatever game she has in her head with Tolani Badge and Nier? Please share and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Hi.